Ulna's total of 167 had seemed like a fighting score and that idea persevered at the start of rank for innings when Sohag Ghazi fell for just one and Brendan McCullum for not inside the third over. Gale's carnage however remained the decisive factor in this eliminator match as Kulna Titans were completely blown away. The opener started his bigoting from the very first over as he hit Abu Jade for six. In the second over he signaled his intentions, hitting Mahmudullah for two fours and a six. Jafra Archer, who bagged two wickets, was Kulna's most economic bowler, conceding 30 in his four overs but he ended up conceding 20 of those 30 runs in one over as Gale Storm swept over him as well. Gale reached his 50 in just 23 deliveries with a pull shot off Muhammad Irfan and he decided to stick around and win rank for the game. In many ways it was a patient knock from the West Indian, who showed how to pace an innings in the shortest form of the game. Muhammad Mithin, who came on after McCullum's dismissal, scored a patient 36 ball 30 while Gale was wrecking havoc. In the end, the target of 168 looked really small as Gale picked up his century in just 45 deliveries. This was his 19th T20 hundred and four of them have come in the BPL. Gale's 10 is also the first century of this season's BPL. Gale hit an amazing 14 sixes on his way to 126 while there were also six fours. He hit two big sixes off Nazmal Hossein Chanto to finish proceedings and give Ranker an eight-wicket victory. Earlier, Brathwaite's late surge helped Kulna Titans post 167 on the board in the crucial elimination match against Ranker Riders. Brathwaite struck a 9-ball 25 to push the Titans towards a fighting total after Rankper captain Mashrafe bin Mortaza chose to field first at the Sherab Angla National Stadium in Dhaka. Brathwaite had the first delivery he faced, a delivery by pacer Rubel Hossein for 4. Then he got stuck into Lasith Malinga, hitting the fast bowler for a 6 and 2 faz in the 18th over. Nicholas Porin contributed with the bat as well, playing a handy 22-ball 28 knock before he fell leg before to Lasith Malinga. Thanks to some good death over hitting, Kulna picked up 57 runs off the last four overs. Earlier, opener Nazmal Hassan Shanto was the first wicket to fall, toe edging a sweep shot in the fourth over as Shohag Ghazi took a simple catch off his own bowling. Afif Hossein then hit Mashrafe bin Mortaza for six even though the shot was mistimed. Rash shots were however not the order of the day when he was clean bowled by Lasith Malinga with a delivery that swung in from leg to middle. Kulna skipper Mahmudullah was on fire from the word go as he heaved Malinga for a six off the second ball he faced before gloving one down fine leg which raced to the boundary for four. Mahmudullah continued in same vein next over, hitting a six and a four off left arm off spinner Nazmal Islam but he got a bit too adventurous when he danced down the wicket in the fourth ball of the over and was sold out at Longan after a cameo six ball twenty knock. Rival Hat played a patient knock of 29 before Rubel Hussain's short delivery gained up on him and Ravi Bopera took an easy catch. With the fall of a rival, Titans lost their fifth wicket in the 17th over with 122 on the board before Porin and Brathwaite gave Kulna innings some much-needed momentum. Lasith Malinga picked up two wickets but conceded 49 runs in his four overs. While none of the batsmen were able to score big runs, Kulna middle order and lower middle order's contribution helped them post 167 for the loss of six wickets.